Absalom's Revolt. Uh, like I mentioned, this is a first of a two-part story. We have the entire revolution here that Absalom brought about. This one we call Absalom's R R R Revolt. Next week we will continue on with his defeat. I've written several things down here. I, I asked the question, why didn't Absalom just wait? He was really the next in line. Ammon was the oldest son of David, but because he raped his half-sister, Absalom killed him. Then, after that, there was Daniel. Not the prophet Daniel, but uh, Daniel who was the son of, uh, of Abigail. Nothing said about him. Um, people think that he probably died, but he was the second oldest son. Then the third one was Absalom. So with the first two gone, he was the next in line. So why didn't he just wait and let the kingdom come to him? I believe that there might be two very good reasons for that. First of all, I think that uh, Absalom still held a grudge against David for not punishing Ammon, his older half-brother, for raping his sister. I think he still felt that David did wrong there and wanted to hurt him. But probably a more likely reason is the fact that uh, Absalom probably knew that David wanted Solomon to become king. Now Solomon was much younger and was the uh, child of, of Bathsheba. He probably knew that the kingdom would go to him if he just waited. Uh, Adonijah, uh, Absalom's younger brother, later on seemed to know that Solomon was going to be king if he didn't do anything. So Adonijah took the help of Joab and rushed in there to make himself king. Now that's a later story and I won't go any farther, but I'm just saying that he probably knew, same as Absalom. So Absalom needed to, needed to strike and get the kingdom. You have to remember, Absalom was popular. He was good looking, handsome, thick flowing hair, and probably a folk hero for what he had done to, 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 to Ammon because, uh, because of the rape of his sister. People probably rejected that. Besides, he spent three years up in the north building, the, the, building the, the, this re re relationship. It's interesting that the kingmaker was David's trusted counselor, Ahithophel. Uh, most people don't, didn't look, don't look close enough to realize that Ahithophel was not only David's trusted counselor, but he's also the grandfather of Bathsheba. Interesting. Uh, Bathsheba uh, was well known. Uh, she was the granddaughter of this trusted counselor. She was the daughter of one of David's 30 mighty men and the wife of one of David's mighty men. One last thing to say about this period of time is this whole rebellion when David ran from his son, went into exile, Several key psalms were written during this time. So in this time of trial, David produced inspired scriptures, songs, and psalms. Well, come back next week when we finish this story and give you some more insights about this, about this rebellion. We'll see you next week.